Well, it's time now for some tech news on the program. And France's answer to the AI revolution took a big step this week with the release of Moshi, a voice bot which responds with unnerving speed and emotion. Now, to test it out, I can welcome on set Peter O'Brien. Peter, introduce us to Moshi. Hi, Alison. So Moshi <laughs> is the product of a nonprofit, QTI, which was founded in November by three billionaires, Xavier Niel, Rodolf Sade, and Eric Schmidt, formerly of Google. Now, it's really one of France's two big hopes when it comes to AI. The other one is Mistral, the startup that's raised about six, it's been valued about six billion euros uh, since it was founded last April. Now, there's less pressure on QTI. It's a, it's a nonprofit, and it has a more meager, shall we, we say a budget of 300 million euros, but they have set themselves a high standard and at a big task, which is to, they say, create artificial general intelligence. That's AI. That's meant to, theoretically at least, be smarter than a human being. Uh, now, we talked to the CEO, Patrick Perez, a few months ago, and he said that the way they were going to do this was by really focusing on something called multimodal AI. That's AIs that can do many different things at once. And we've just got the first proofs of their labor out this week, which is Moshi, a research prototype that is you can talk to. It's a, it's a voice bot. I've been having a few different conversations with it. Take a listen to a snippet of one of them. Who's your friend? I don't remember his name. I don't remember who it was, but he said that his roommate was Joe Biden. And he said, I think he said he was eating ice cream before he went to bed. To be fair, that sounds a lot like Joe Biden. He loves ice cream. Yeah, I think he was saying that he was eating ice cream before he went to bed, and then he went into the room, and there was a girl there. Oh, yeah? What was happening? And she was eating ice cream, and they started making out. <laughs> uh, the girl started making out with Joe Biden? Yeah, I think that's what it was. So... Yeah, obviously a quite strange story. I'm also not sure why they've gone for a deliberate something that looks like HAL from 2001 A Space Odyssey, the evil robot in that. Okay. Maybe not sending a particularly reassuring message. Yeah, Moshi seems like like they're quite into gossip as well yeah, uh, yeah. For, for a robot. Now, uh, Peter, the AI, uh, or, or sorry, tell us more about, about how Moshi works. Yeah, so what they've done here, one of the critical elements you might have been able to hear there about it sounding quite emotional, actually, and also responding very quickly, right? And, and having a sort of moderated voice that we use when we respond to each other in quite a real realistic way. Well, the way they did this was they fed um, compressed audio of people speaking into what's called pseudo words. So these are words and sentences that sound almost like English, but aren't really. It's kind of compressed form of the way we speak fed this into an algorithm that is trained to predict the next word. So not only can it predict the logical next word in a sentence, like most AIs, but it can kind of, kind of also predict how it should be speaking from a tonal, emotional point of view. That's why it sounds quite realistic. Um, to sort of show you what these pseudo words sound like, if you max out all the settings on Moshi and get it to talk, it spits out what these pseudo words sound like. Take a listen. So, we the next day, let's freeze the right as we'll be to make it as interesting, discuss this stuff. And in order to curiosity, turn on others. You know what that too? I don't find it. So, I speak it and it's different. So it's so bizarre because you're trying to identify English that's there because it sounds so similar, but it's actually not. Yeah, it feels like you could almost understand it, but but you can't. Gibberish. Yeah, um, quite spooky. And another couple of ingredients as to why Moshi is so quick at responding as well. You might have heard in the clip I played before of you know really almost interrupting me while I was speaking. Is that it's multi-stream? So this means that it can understand what is being said at the same time as it can speak. So it's got two sort of data streams going on. And the other thing is that it processes this text of what's being said as well as the audio at the same time. So all that combines to what they say is a record-breaking latency, sort of the, the, the gap between question and answer they say is the fastest in the world. And kind of given how crowded the AI field is growing, is that why Moshi stands out, the, the speed yeah. and then also the emotion that yeah. you were talking about? I think they, they built the whole thing themselves, including this um, compression tool that they use to reduce words into, into pseudo words. And it's really this latency that's kind of the groundbreaking element to it. But Neil Zegador, who is a researcher at QTI who built the thing, can explain it better than me. We record continuously the user and we compress their voice using a novel compression, audio compression algorithm that we developed at QTI. And the resulting compressed signal is so compact that it can be predicted by the same kind of algorithms that you will use to predict text. However, now your model does not process text, but directly this compressed audio, which we can 
reconstruct back to uncompressed audio in a very uh, rapid way. So the resulting model has the state-of-the-art latency of 200 milliseconds thanks to avoiding the bottleneck of going through text and rather modeling audio directly. The other thing that makes it stand out is that it's going to be open sourced. Um, this is a similar approach to Mistral is doing, and it seems to be quite a French approach as to now. That's to just release um, all of your code to the public um, or as much of it as possible. So this means that even if it does now stand out, it might not for very lo much longer because anyone will be able to copy the code and replicate it. You know, it certainly is one of the most realistic uh, AI voices I've heard. So we'll see what's in store for Moshi. Peter, uh, thank you so much for that. That's our tech editor there, Peter O'Brien.